that kind of group that much. We, you got a lot of over here and other parts of the country, but lots of us realized that when it came to Southern California, it's kind of different. It, it's yeah. it, kind of more more deeper. Yes. And uh, yes, it is. So we we kind of like didn't East Coast or South or South Midwest people didn't really understand how deep right. it went with blacks and uh uh Mexico excuse me, black and Latinos over there in Southern California. It was like, are you serious? They have problems like that? Yeah. Like, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, we, we going over there. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm thinking it's cool. Like, cause I don't have a problem with nobody. I'm like, you know, yeah. what up? And, and dudes are well, telling you know, me the, like, don't get the out the car. About New York, New York is more or less, New York is an international kind. Uh, uh, New York is, is like a, a capital of the world. If you will, you have one block of Dominicans right next to Puerto Ricans. And these people have been there since time immemorial. Since, this is a, a half hour after they bought the island from the Indians. There was already people from all over the world because there was there was uh, there were uh, different people coming. There was a port city here in California, or well, Mexico. This was Mexico, and then Mexico. and then uh, the, uh, America came into it. So our gripes are different, you know. And it, it saddens my heart that 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 there's a lot of uh, uh, racial prejudice on our side. Mexican Americans, we have to look into our own hearts and realize that in the privacy of our own home. Uh, our moms are telling our our, uh, our sisters, don't don't date a black man, don't be with a black man, stay away from black men. You know, uh, you know I heard that in my own house. So you gotta, anytime you hear prejudice, you gotta call these people to account. You know, whoever they may be, else it's never gonna go away. You know, uh, I, I'm not out here looking for for husbands or boyfriends for my sisters, but should they choose a black man, all I gotta do is support whatever she she does. To see, but she shouldn't be stigmatized. But there is that thing, you know, if you bring a, a white guy named Brad to the house, uh, that, that's happy. considered a, a step up. Yeah. If you bring yeah. a, a guy named Hakeem or Tyrone to the house, that's a step down. And right. I would challenge any Mexican to tell me different. Now, it all begins in the car where, and a lot of the humor that I talk about is like that. It, it begins with your parents, your father, the way he, the way he observes the world as he drives, you know. Uh, there's, a, there's room for a lot of comedy, but a lot of truisms, you know. We cannot just be... Uh, uh, you know, uh, unbigoted or, or be liberal in public, we have to do that in private. If, if we haven't we haven't been able to teach our children that, that, that what Dr. King said is true, that the color of your skin uh, doesn't really uh, make a, a whole person, doesn't, it's the color of your content, is, is the content of your character. Those are the things that, that, that matter. If, we're, if those are just words to us, then this is a pathetic world and nothing's ever going to change. And that goes for African-Americans, too. You, there's a lot of prejudice in African-Americans towards other people out of frustration, out of, out of, of the people thinking that they're not understood and they got it right. But it cuts both ways, you know. I try to go to schools and I try to teach children that, for example, uh, Brown versus the Board of Education wouldn't have happened if it had not been for a farmer, a Mexican family, who challenged that law for many years before that. It was called Mendez. Mendez uh, versus uh, the Board of, of Westminster. You can look it up, you know, all you people with computers. Mendes versus Westminster. As a matter of fact, this farmer, Mendes, went broke. Mendes was the one that hired Thurgood Marshall to, to test that same uh, law. This is Thurgood Marshall got his practice later to beat uh, all the way to the Supreme Court with Brown versus the Board of Education. So we have contributed, except these things that we have contributed have not been, uh, uh, you know, uh, taught to the children. And I think they should be because it would end a lot of strife. It would, let, it would make Latinos feel like, you know, we, we were in the struggle also. We, we suffered what you suffered, perhaps. Not as evident, perhaps not in the amount, but suffering is suffering. What are you going to put a measure on that, you know? Exactly. It's thermal sound wave.